Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to Apron Strings. I'm kind of on a bread kick lately, I guess, but y'all are going to love this one. It's called batter bread, and you just mix the batter up and pour it in your oiled 9 by 13 pan. Let it rise till it doubles and bake it. And you have the equivalent of a loaf of fresh bread or homemade rolls. Our church sometimes serves meals uh, to the church family or whatever, and this is the go-to bread that we make to serve, and it's, it's wonderful. So I'm gonna get it mixed up and show y'all what to do so you can get in the kitchen and make you some for supper today. Let's get over to the butcher block and check out the ingredients, and we will get it going. Okay, I've got a package of yeast in my bowl here. Make sure my milk's not too warm. And I'm going to put in a half a cup of sugar and one cup of warmed milk. And it's not hot, it's just warm. And I'm going to stir that around. You could use a mixer, but I would rather do it this way. And I'm going to add in one stick of melted butter. and a half teaspoon of salt. And one egg, and I'm gonna crack my egg in this thing where the butter was, and whip it just a little bit. Give it a whoop it. Now I'm adding in three and a half cups of sifted flour and one cup of quick oats. And I'm just going to use the Swedish dough hook and get this mixed. Just going to put it into, if you have a shallow 9 by 13, if you don't, just put it in your regular one and um, let it rise till it's doubled. And make a space here and get my pan and get it in it, or I can get it sitting in the oven where it's pretty warm and that way it'll it can rise. Get some oil on my hands. And I'm just going to press it in my pan. And let it rise. I'm going to get my bread out of the oven. It has risen. It's almost to the top of the pan. I've got my oven preheated to 375 and I'm going to put it in for about 30 minutes and I'll be back and let y'all know how long it took to bake it. Okay, I got my batter bread out of the oven and I'm going to run some butter around on the top of it. while it'll melt it good. Then I'm gonna put that right there because I'm putting a little bit in there when I cut it. It's still very, very hot. I'm gonna cut me a little bitty corner, it's hot but I want to cut a little bitty corner of it so I can show y'all what it looks like. It 
looks just like a dinner roll. And I'm gonna butter it, taste of it. <sighs> mm. It's like a sweet dinner roll, y'all. So easy. You need to make you some of this. Batter bread. Mm-mm-mm. It's a whole lot easier than making a loaf of bread or making rolls because you just put it in the pan and let it rise till double and then bake it. There's no two rises to it. Y'all need to try this recipe. I think it'll be a keeper for you. I hope y'all are getting you a few things ahead where you can have whatever you want to eat no matter what's on the shelves or ain't on the shelves at the store. Be sure and take care of that. Stock your pantry. Get a few extras. Plan ahead for your holidays or birthdays or special occasions that's coming up. Be sure you have what you need because uh, we just don't ever know. From day to day, there's different things that are out at the store. So I try to have one of each and two of some. That way I cook what I want to. The good Lord bless and keep y'all. And I'll see you again in a day or two with something else good. Trust me, I got a couple of good ones coming up. Take care. Talk to the good Lord. Live right, do your part, and he'll do his. Give the world a smile, and they'll give you one right back. See y'all pretty soon.